Hey guys, sorry, my computer just uh, froze up. So welcome to day one. Today we have a couple of things that I wanna go over um, to get us started on the right foot. First of all, welcome. Um, if you haven't already, I hope you go to our main page, so February Fitness Frenzy, or whatever the trade name is for it, and introduce yourself to the group because these are the people that we're gonna be working with for the next 30 days, and I know it seems silly and kind of awkward at first, but the more vulnerable you are on the main page, the better it will be as far as um, what you see for the next for the next month. So I see a couple of you guys already have done that, but really go on there, just post a picture of yourself, or you don't even have to put a picture. It just kind of helps us associate um, who you are and introduce yourself and um, just answer the questions that Megan has has put there for us. So today, really fast, I just want to talk about the, the binder um, that is... Um, Kind of day one, that's my that's my goal for us is just getting organized and making sure that we create a starting point for the next 30 days. So um, I sent you guys, I pushed you through Facebook a bunch of files. I hope that's the easiest way to do it. If not, just let me know and we'll um, we'll email them to you next time. Um, I know that a lot of us also are, are set in a school base where you print from there. So if you haven't um, printed it yet, that's fine. But I do want you to look at the look at the um, the hub of the information that's in there and, and fill it out today because today is day one and I know that when I was starting this journey a while ago, I was like, okay, start data. How important is that? Actually weighing yourself and blah, 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 blah. It is because in 30 days you will completely change and I want us to have that, um, that, that base from today. So I want to walk through that. Um, I sent you a bunch of stuff. The way that I organize my, uh, fitness binder is exactly what I, I put in there. So I mean, we're creative, competent people. If something doesn't work for you, change it. But I just wanted to give you some tools to push off of. Um, so in tab one, um, I have my goal section and um, my my history of where I'm going. Um, I don't care if this is your first month into a journey where you're you're working with Beachbody products or if this is your seventh journey. Um, I break my goals into, into 30 day increments, something where I can say, okay, what do I need to do this month? Almost like you start fresh every month. So let's say that last month was a wash. Um, it gives you a chance um, without saying, okay, six years from now or six months from now or nine months from now, what is this going to look like? Let's break it into month increments. That's never going to go away. So when I make my um, my challenge uh, goal setting sheets, they, they work on 30-day increments. Now, if you're in a program that's 90 days, you can still set small goals within that program because you know the program is going to continue to build and you're going to hopefully set goals within it because 90 days is a long time to wait. So the, my first tab has all of that stuff, my measurements, my my weigh-ins, my goal papers. I do that, and, and they kind of accumulate in there, and you'll see that as you go on to month one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. It's kind of a fun paper trail to look back and say, okay, what was I doing you know, this time six months ago. Um, wow, you know, I wanted to, I wanted to, to lose 10 pounds, and now my goals are completely shifted, and they're completely different because I want to, you know, focus on different things. So the paper trail for me is fun. If you're not a paper trail person, then ditch that, but make sure that you're recording this information somewhere, whether it's in the fitness tracker or, or somewhere else. So when you, when you print the pages, they, they look exactly like this. Um, a couple of things when we dive into this and feel free to pause this video wherever and have this out. So it's, it's like a live training. When you set the goal range for this challenge group, the goal range is going to be February 1st to March 1st. Um, that's our 30 day window where fitness frenzy is going to be running. And then at the end of 30 days, we'll set your next goal together. Um, but that's the right now time frame. The goal in writing, um, when you write your goals out specifically and, and, and let yourself know exactly what it is that you want to, um, to do and, and see in those 30 days, you're more likely to do it. So whether it's, um, you know, one specific thing or whether it's multiple things, make it in writing. So, um, you know, I have, I have three specific things. One, um, according to my weight, which I'm not usually a weight person, but I did put on weight during the holiday season. So I put my post holiday weight in this 30 days is a, is a goal for me. Um, the second one is to do my exercise program with fidelity, which seems like a dumb moment, but you know, life happens. So maybe that's something that you say, these are the days that I'm going to work out. And that's my goal to, to, to do that with hundred percent fidelity. And that's an okay goal. Um, 
And my last one was just a reflection on the 30 day month before, which is why it's so important to, to reset goals every 30 days. I saw a lot of my cheat days turning into cheat um, weekends and cheat three days. Um, and that was not the intended goal. When I meal plan, I usually meal plan Monday through Friday um, and then allow my weekends flexibility because um, I don't know what we're doing as a family. But then in the last 30 days, I found that that was actually hurting me, um, that I didn't know what I was going to eat on Saturday and Sunday. And when I didn't know what I was going to eat, I continued to cheat instead of only having that one cheat day or cheat meal. So one of my goals was to, to make my meal planned Monday through Sunday instead of Monday through um, Friday. So that's just my goals. I mean, your goals are obviously going to be different than mine and that's okay. And that's awesome, but I want to know them. So after you go through today and you fill out this sheet, I do want you to message me or send me a video just like this one. So we can pretend like we're sitting in the same room, um, and tell me what they are so we can make sure that they're measurable, that they're realistic, that they're attainable because feeling success is a really good part of the journey as well. Um, so Another short thing that I want to say about your goal writing is, um, you know, I think that when people come to me and they say, well, I want to lose, you know, 10 pounds or I want to do this or do that. Um, I really want you when you're writing your goals today and you're taking your time to reflect to, um, to ask yourself what your life is going to look like once you reach that goal. What does that mean for you? And what does that mean for, um, your family? And what does that mean for your journey? Um, I know that I'm kind of contradicting myself because I wrote a weight loss goal, but when you look at numbers on a scale and you don't look at what we're forming as the whole person behind it, um, they become almost kind of shallow goals. So when you're when you sit down today and you and you reflect on your goal writing, I want you to think big picture. I want you to attach a goal to to something different or something better that you're going to deepen in your life and not just reflect back in scale. Because, I mean, weight, and we'll get into that more through the month, weight can fluctuate within a week period. Um, I mean, you know, it's, it's not something to tie your destiny to. So just make sure that there's a deeper meaning to the goal that you're writing. And if you need help with that, um, we can message back and forth and to what that really means because it's kind of like a whole statement, but I really mean it. So if, if you're not attaching to what I'm saying there, then then let's shoot some ideas back and forth to make sure that your goals aren't shallow, but they're... Um, but they're real and they better you as well as your fitness journey. Um, the next part of the challenge thing that I want to make sure that you get done today, because this is day one, are your weights, your measurements, your burpee test, and your pant size. I know that sounds super silly, but your weight is pretty self-explanatory. Um, you know, just write the weight down. Um, make sure that you're you know, noting on there what time of day you did it. Uh, so when we do our follow-ups, we can in 30 days, we can do the same time of day. Um, your measurements um, also are on the measurement page um, where you get that handy dandy little human person. Um, do this because sometimes your scale victories won't show through as victories. You're like, I gained five pounds on a month. What is this girl trying to, you know, help me with? But your measurements are where the magic happens, where you actually start to gain muscle. And especially if you're doing a program like 21 Day Fix or 21 Day Fix Extreme, um, which weighs a lot, um, but it's becoming this calorie torture in your body and you're losing fat and you're gaining muscle and you're not seeing it on the scale, um, but your measurements are showing that. So just go ahead and, and follow. I mean, this is pretty self-explanatory. Look at this. Look at your person if you don't know where it's talking about and, and write down your measurements. If you don't have a tape measure, just use a piece of string and a ruler. We can get creative here. Um, and as far as that, so your weight and your measurements are pretty self-explanatory. Your burpee test. So I don't know if you've already worked out today. If, if you have and you've already showered and you're not trying to get all burpified, um, do it tomorrow morning. But um, I want you to set a uh, timer for 60 seconds and write how many burpees you can get in in 60 seconds. If you're unaware of what a burpee is, let me know and I can send you a quick snippet of me um, doing a burpee. If you need to modify, that's totally fine. Um, but this is kind of like, you know, when you're in seventh grade and running the mile, it's that, it's that fitness um, start point because you won't really understand how much your fitness has increased in a month. But when you see that number and you do it in 30 days, you'll be wowed. And then your pant size. This is always so fun for me. Um, 
people drop serious inches in serious weight, even in a 21 day period. Um, so jot down your pant size because sometimes it's nice to look at numbers that are not just a scale. Um, put on your pants, especially a pair of pants that is maybe tight on you. Um, because in 30 days, it's such a non-scale victory to, to wear the clothes that were once um, super, super tight on us and be able to have um, something to be like, wow, my body changed that much. Um, so do your pant size and maybe try those on to just get an initial feeling. The second thing, I know I'm talking, but the first day in the first week is just so jam-packed with information. So these videos will get shorter, but they're gonna be long this week. Um, the second thing is your before pictures. Um, set a timer, use a mirror, use, you know, your kids or your husband, whatever, but get um, a good before picture of yourself um, and something that shows off your body. I wouldn't stay um, in, you know, long sleeve shirt and pants because that's not where you're going to see the noticeable differences. I would take a shot from head on, um, not, you know, flexing, just standing there showing everything that you have to offer. I would do one from the front, from the back, and then maybe from the side so you can see some side inches. Um, if you have any photo editing um, apps on your phone, um, if you don't, then I can post some. Just let me know and date it, you know, say February 1st, 2016, and catalog those pictures so you can go back in the 30-day process and in the long-term process and see where you started. It is crazy to see where you started. You forget what your body looked like um, because as you start this journey, it will completely change. Um, so do that. And then the last thing on our page for this tab in our binder is to set a goal for 30 days. So once you reach the goals that you've made clear in the first part, what are you gonna do for yourself? So, you know, maybe it goes back to something that you wanna buy, workout clothes. Maybe it's, you know, I don't know, anything. People work for um, incentives, at least I know I do. So, so my big thing that I'm working for in this round is um, if I reach my goals, then I get to buy my honeymoon bikini, which is scary and exciting. So I already have it pulled up on Victoria's Secret. I've designed the whole thing. I know what I want it to look like and I know um, what I want it to look like on my body. So now I have to put in the work. And if I reach the goal, then I get to press purchase and I want to do that. So um, it's kind of in the back of my mind is like a carrot that I'm dangling over myself because obviously the physical um, changes are going to be rewards in and of themselves, but sometimes it's nice to touch something. So maybe it's a nice dinner out. It doesn't have to be something that you're going to put on yourself, but maybe it's a pedicure, maybe it's a trip, maybe it's a, I don't know, a movie day. I don't know, whatever, whatever you're willing to work for, write it down because it'll be in the back of your mind. So that is, um, Tab one. Tab two, we're going to get more into this weekend when we start meal prepping um, and training and really going into your containers. But um, two is where I want you to start to catalog and, and think about and write down what you are eating. So I know that I've been messaging some of you back and forth and we're talking about, you know, okay, how do these containers work? And da -da -da, they're pretty self explanatory, but you know, what about this? What about this? When you're writing out your meal plan for the week, keep those things. Kind of like, I mean, a lot of us are educators here. If I wrote the lesson plan every single year new, I am wasting so much time. That is the same thing with meal planning. It is a time consuming thing. But if you begin to catalog and archive um, recipes that work, lunches that work, go to snacks that work, and you can grab those things from this tab in your binder in five seconds rather than 30 minutes. Um, think about your life three months down the road or a month down the road at the end of this 30 days where you have this um, I was going to say body of evidence, but that's teacher talk where you have this tab of, um, of, of go-to recipes, snacks, and ideas where you're like, Ooh, this week is really awesome. Something that I am crushing on right now. And I know this, I'm not supposed to talk about meal planning today cause that's, um, later in the week, but skinnytaste.com, um, uh, me and a lot of my friends use skinnytaste.com because she has phenomenal recipes. She has put out her whole weeks. So she has meal prepped her entire week and you can actually see her planner there. And she um, is using um, the recipes and just putting them in there. And I'll tell you that I, I meal prepped um, yesterday for the week and I found those for the first time because usually I just go through her catalog and find the recipes I want but I found those for the first time and I felt like I had hit the jackpot and it's completely free right now so I don't know if it will be forever so if you um 
I'm gonna go and start pulling recipes, saving the PDF, printing it, hole punching it old school and putting it in here so you can thumb through things that you like. If you don't like it, which happens often, ditch it. And so you're, you're creating this archive of recipes and ideas that you like. Also in this tab is your um, pocket cheat sheet for your um, daily tallies of what you're eating, how many glasses of water you're um, drinking, and then the, the big tally sheets where you're planning, okay, if this is what I'm cooking and this is the container allotment that I'm allowed, are those things allowed? And like I said, that's a, that's a whole nother beast in itself and we'll go into that later in the week, but I just want you to start thinking about that and noticing the containers, noticing, noticing in your day when it's hard, when it's easy, you know, start, start taking note of those things and placing them in this tab. So when it gets to training, we have some conversation points to talk about okay, Erin, this is really hard for me. This is where, you know, I feel like I'm falling out. Um, I talk to, I talk to my, um, I talk to my fitness clients all the time and, and it's a continual journey. It's a problem solving process. But when you have things to stick to that are concrete, that's where we can have the conversations and help you grow. The last tab that we have is your fitness tracker. So you have your win the day fitness tracker in your third tab that looks like I'm trying to find it. Um, oh, it's right in front of me because I was just writing on it. So it looks like this. So it's your win the day workout journal. Um, I want you to use this. Um, start to write down. It doesn't have to be a paragraph a day. Nobody cares and you're never going to go back and read that. But start to talk about, you know, when you worked out, the time day you worked out. How did you feel? Rate yourself on a scale from 1 to 10. You know, 10 being like, I killed this workout. I felt amazing when I was done. Nothing was hurting. I felt like I was just like, you know, Athena warrior princess. And then 0 being like, I wanted to die the entire time. It was miserable. I didn't feel good. Blah, 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 blah. So rate yourself. I have on there, um, weight your modified moves, um, especially if you are hammer and chiseling, if you are 21 day fixing or 21 day fix extreming. If you are continuing to use the same weight for months and months and months, you are going to hit a plateau. Your body is not being challenged anymore. If you started the program five months ago and you were using eight pound weights and you are still using eight pound weights, your body is not being challenged. Um, so you need to keep note of those things on here. So in a month we can look back and say, okay, Erin, you were using five pound weights. You were using a 25 pound resistance band. You were using eight pound weights on your lower, on your lower fixed moves. It's time to up the ante. It's going to hurt and you're going to fail. Um, you know, maybe at that 10th rep, maybe at 45 seconds, you can't go all the way to 60 seconds, but that's where you, that's where you see the growth in your programs. And that's how you can use this program forever and still see results. Does that make sense? So, um, this is just a really simple fitness tracker that I, that I created and that I've used forever and ever and ever. So I can also go back and say, okay, you know, maybe you tweak something in your shoulder on an upper fixed day, you make a note of that, and then you can see the progression of it happen in your notes. You can go back and pinpoint things in your journey as well as keep a record to make sure that we continue to grow and we don't plateau. Um, another resource that I wanted to plug in at this time, how am I in time? Oh, this is long. Sorry. I'm almost done. Is I use, um, and I don't know, these are, this is for my peeps that are hammer and chiseling, um, or doing something like Body Beast, where we're keeping, and it's an actual weightlifting program. Um, Beachbody, uh, TeamBeachbody.com, sorry, where a lot of you are on demand now, has your workout printable sheet. So this is my one for hammer and chisel, if you can see here. It's very, very intense as far as, you know, what's the exact weight that you are in um, for today based on, based on the program that you're using. Um, so if you're in any of those programs and you're looking for something more intense than the fitness tracker that I gave you in the binder, um, go to teambeachbody.com, look at the printables, and they have tons of free options there. Okay, so recapping for the day, if you haven't, go into our main group, introduce yourself, put a picture of your family, and start to really interact. That is going to be your accountability that's going to push you through the next 30 days and then join us after that. Um, outside of the challenge group to continue to almost become like your fitness family. Um, do not be afraid to post your sweaty selfies. I mean, we'll, we'll start a lot of challenge, um, challenges and, um, 
contest um, in the next couple of weeks. And if you get those behaviors of sharing your Shakeology, sharing your meals, sharing your workouts, um, you'll be set up for success because that's how you earn all your points during those contests. So today let's focus on the binder and let's focus on finding your day one start measurements, weight, and all of the things in the first tab of that binder. Um, and we will check back in tomorrow. If you have any questions, send me a video message, send me a regular message, email me, call me, whatever. Um, and I hope you guys have a wonderful, wonderful Monday.